Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber is here and back again to talk about Spark Point. Now people keep sending me messages uh, asking if it's a good time to buy, some are saying they missed a the boat, but um, obviously as you can see over here I was taking profits at around these levels over here, so we're scaling out, scaling out, obviously you can see uh, 2194, 2197, 2197, 2197 and there's more um, obviously you have to fill your orders bit by bit um, as you can see there'll be more orders where I was getting out getting out you know 2200 2240 okay so um, yeah I mean I didn't take all of it out because I've got a long-term bag um, for holding as well so I left a nice large bag uh, for holding long term but as you can see we're having a bit of correction now if I would have waited a little bit I could have made probably um, if I got out over here if I was scaling out over here um, let's go from about there so if I would have waited a little bit longer maybe I could have made you know an extra 20-25% and that's maybe if orders were getting filled at those levels but at this time I was in bed asleep I was up late guys if you see my last video that was made at like 5 a.m in the morning uh probably all right now what am i seeing here obviously you can see the dump happening okay now is it a good uh, time to perhaps get a retrace all right so if we go from here you will see that okay so you can see that this uh, uh the 0.618 level um lines up over here perfectly with this moving average and um it could be a, a good a good buy point for a pullback guys um, as you can see it's falling quite heavily and uh that's just people taking profits i mean it's natural it's going to happen uh we've still got the new exchange launching on friday uh you know what you'll find is a lot of people they buy the rumor and sell the news so you know you could see it get onto that exchange and uh, you know or, or a dump before it gets onto the exchange uh which is what we're seeing we, we could be seeing now but um you know if you were looking for a retrace uh correction for a long-term hold now is the time to kind of start thinking about that you could be averaging in uh, get a little bit here maybe get a little bit more down there and a little bit more down there and if it comes all the way back down to this support level let's just get rid of this so if we come back down to this support level that's definitely a good buy as well in my opinion all right that's just my opinion guys okay and let's just bring that down slightly and line that up over there because that would be uh probably a bit of a better, better entry bounce right off the support and then you know find its way back up slowly who knows could it happen yes i do believe it could so i've got some money sitting on the sidelines for a potential buyback in or whether i just keep the huddle bag that i've got there and just not even worry about it you know the amount of profits that i took is been able to set me up in a good few other projects uh that i wanted to get into and that is the story there okay so you know i am huddling a huddle bag over here but um you know it's always good to realize some profits and but you can potentially buy back in uh down here now if i was to buy back in down here with some of the uh with some of the profits that i, I took I'm, I'm i'm getting i can probably get my whole back bag back for a fraction a fraction of the profits that I took, you know, and um, right now we're seeing a minus 41% drop. Okay, if we made it all the way down here, that would be 72%. All right, obviously, going the other way, like the percentages are different going up than they are going down. Okay, so if you look, if you went the other way, that's like 266%. So the profits that you're losing there, so if you got in down here and then you, you didn't sell up there and it comes all the way back down there. It's like you could have realized those gains, you know, but everyone's got their own strategy. Even if you went from here 
that is 70 percent in one direction okay so going up if you got in there you would have been up 70 percent you know but overall in comparison to the the, the whole um, chart structure it's a 40 percent drop from there okay so yeah guys um it does seem to be trying to hold the 50 day moving average at the moment obviously the seven day moving average is gone and uh yeah i mean it would be nice if we did see a big green if we did see this wick all the way back up and we see you know a bullish reversal candle but you know who knows what's going to happen from here it's just a sitting and waiting game you know me personally i don't think i'll be scaling in over here but if it does come down anywhere near these zones then i'll probably be looking to you know add some more to my my huddle bag and at the end of the day that's just a strategy that you know i might find good for me but i did say in the previous video normally when you see a great lightsaber candle like that come all the way up it's probably going to come back down um you know in most cases all right now obviously i did miss it up there because i was out doing the food shopping for the family home all right and that really annoyed me actually but it did come back down and then i held out for it to come back up a little bit and i managed to get a nice exit point no i didn't manage to sell the top and i definitely didn't manage to sell that top but i managed to scale out and, and I actually, you know, um, I actually took about 75% of my bag out and it was a pretty large bag actually. Yeah, I left 25% in, which is still a seven figure number and um, I'm happy to hold that for the long term. All right, so that's in the game now. And hopefully I can pick up, if, if, if I can double my bag uh, at the moment for a much cheaper price, I'll quite happily do that at this point uh, right now. Uh, like I say, I could get in from where I actually got out, from where I actually started scaling out, just see. We were looking at about, you know, 20% discount, 25% discount. All right, guys. So, yeah, Spark Point is, you know, it's, it's definitely turning some heads right now. Definitely getting some attention. All right, I still think there's quite a long way to go for Spark Point for the long term all right so going back to the market cap okay uh let's just get spark point it's okay sometime today i don't know whether it's my computer or whether it's my internet i've got the actually i've actually i've got the fastest broadband with virgin and i, I don't think it's that great i've literally got the top top and it's costing me your bum, to be honest, in comparison to other internet service providers. I tried to change it the other day and I ended up cancelling because they took too long and I just stayed with Virgin. Uh, but yeah, forget about that. Um, okay, so the market cap is only 13, just under 14 million, all right? Uh, so still, you know, low cap in regards to a DeFi project. Um, obviously we've seen that increase significantly over the past couple of days if you look at that you know if I was just coming into this and I was just looking at the chart and I saw this I didn't know what spark point was and I saw that I'll be like nah forget that mate it's, it's gone I've missed it all right but one thing I haven't spoken about if we let's just go on a different chart okay let's get this up on coin trader Okay, and let's get the coin market cap BTC version. Okay, now I'm not an expert on Elliott Wave, but I do know just a little bit. Okay, so you get basically you get um, a one wave because up, and then you get a three wave. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, and then you get a pullback four. And then you get a five wave, all right. But three wave is normally the biggest wave, so that's why I was uh, so confident in holding this one for a little bit, all right. You get one wave, the three wave is normally the biggest wave, and you get another correction, right? And then you get a five wave, but the five wave is not normally as big as the three wave, so then that could come down, yeah, and then it could bounce up, all right, and maybe come to about there or a little bit higher, but that. Bearing in mind that move probably won't be as big as this move, all right? So you get one wave, three wave, five wave, okay? And then what you get after that is you get A, B, C correction. So just like we saw there, 
you get you got it you, you, you see it come up yeah for the one wave and you get a b c correction all right then you get the accumulation and then you see it go up again now you could say that that is the that, that this is you know perfect Elliott wave theory playing out so now we could see the a b c correction all right however far that wants to go all right i don't know how to use the tool properly on uh, the tools properly on here all right but then obviously you get the a b c correction and then you get another five wave and then after that you get a b c or you could get you could get a b c d e correction all right so that's Elliott wave theory and forgive me if i'm wrong like i'm not an expert on Elliott wave but that's the way i'm seeing it all right so if i was doing an analysis based on that then that's how i'll be reading it all right so if i do see a a b c you know so we get we come down we get a bounce and then we come down one more time and then you know and and obviously you can use the fibonacci retracement tool to kind of gauge and get other confirmations based on that move as well okay so we could say we get in the A and then we're going to get a little bounce and then we get the B and then we get the C and hopefully, I mean, I, I shouldn't say hopefully guys. I mean, that's for the sake of me getting a bigger bag for a cheaper price and doubling up, doubling down on my, uh, my position at the moment. I wouldn't mind personally if it came down a bit further. Um, it would probably be the sign of a healthier correction as well. So that would be, you know, uh, better for the long term. If this is a uh, free wave and the move hasn't finished yet, then there could be a bounce from here and, uh, you know, even like a bullish engulfing candle over here. Bring that down. A bullish engulfing candle over here, boom, to the upside, and then carry on up a bit more, you know. The, the free wave might not be over. But as you can see, it is a bit of a large wave, isn't it? Uh, the volume was increasing over here volume increasing increasing and now we see that the the, the, the red volume uh, is a sell-off to the downside which is only natural that people are going to take some profits especially when they see that rejection over here uh yeah as you can see it's starting to fall a bit more back down to 1500 now all right thus providing a bare entry for many people and a chance a second chance to come back in now that, that's another thing i want to talk about the market likes to give people second chances all right so even like when i said yesterday that i saw this big lightsaber come up all right and then it went back down right and i thought okay i didn't catch it and i was a bit annoyed it's probably going to give me a second chance to get to get out and that's sometimes a good gauge as to whether you should hold uh, going past it or whether you should sell all right because sometimes you get um you, you can get a double top or and it, it might come over just a little bit it might not line up correctly it might come over just a little bit and then whip down that would still class as a double top and then you see it continue to the downside and like i said you get the green lightsaber over here then it gave me a second chance to get out over there so i scaled out over here just a little bit of patience it was all it took and then obviously uh went to sleep woke up and today we're seeing a big lightsaber to the downside so i have realized my profits by getting out over there if i didn't take anything over there i wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have realized anything all right and uh yeah that's spark point guys spark what i'm saying okay it's still a long-term hold so yeah i mean i'm not emotionally attached to this coin okay and that's why i'm able to take profits but I do believe it does have long-term potential and that's why I leave some skin in the game for the longer term just to see what happens. All right, guys. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Keep an eye on that, all right? Um, now's not a bad time to buy. Obviously, it's reached this support level, but it's a very thin support area. Stronger support over here, obviously. And obviously, we won't want to see it come all the way back down there okay because that won't be a sign of strength okay if you haven't done already subscribe to the channel like comment and i'll see you again in the next one